What's up and welcome to the super duper extra mega ultra hyper juicy chunky season 2 special uh, versus battle cards. We've got a Q&A, a reveal of the season 2 premiere, a couple extra reveals, a debate of Saitama versus Invincible, and more. So let's not waste any time and play the intro for the last time because we're gonna have a new intro too. Unless it gets copyright claimed, and then we'll just stick with the first intro. So, play the first intro. The second one will be shown off at the end. But anyways, yeah, play, 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 go. Let's get started. The first announcement is that Season 2 will have a new windscreen with a new winner's podium and everything. It's inspired by Crash Team Racing. Ooh, fancy. But see that darker sidebar over to the right? That's right, I'm gonna be bringing back the list of advantages and disadvantages each combatant has in the fight. It's something I did all the way back in Universes, and something I totally didn't forget to do when starting this series, until Death Battle Season 9 reminded me because they started doing it now. So yeah, that's coming back. Hopefully it helps explain winner decisions better if I suck at explaining things myself. Here's how the screen will look when it's all filled out. Pretty nice, huh? Now let's reveal a Season 2 matchup. This isn't the season premiere, okay? This is just a matchup that's going to be in Season 2. It's Rick Grimes versus Joel Miller, The Walking Dead versus The Last of Us. This is a matchup I've been wanting Death Battle to do for a while, mainly because I think it'd be a really good live action fight. But the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to see the actual researched part of it too. With how grounded both series are, using the term grounded very loosely here, and with the heavy focus on zombie survival skills, I'm getting more and more interested on seeing who actually wins, so I'm doing it myself. Now, let's move on to some Q&A. Our first question comes from Ethan Espinel, who asks, which was my favorite and least favorite episode to work on? My favorite would have to be a tie between Tai Lung vs. Azula and Felix vs. Engineer. Tai Lung vs. Azula just because it was a really cool matchup and I just really liked doing it. And plus I love both Avatar and Kung Fu Panda. And then Felix vs. Engineer because I just found it to be a really fun challenge, figuring out who wins between two characters who don't really have much versus wise. As for least favorite, probably Remy vs. Diva. There was nothing too wrong with the episode itself, it was just an April Fool's episode, so I had to do it immediately after Maui vs Knuckles, which burnt me out quicker and is probably the main cause for why Season 1 is only 10 episodes long. Radbat asks, Wow, why am not answering all that? Let's just pick out a couple. How likely is it that I'll use unused matchups from my previous shows like Universes and Fictional Fights? Well, it's very likely. In fact, I've already done it with Jimpachi vs The Lich. That was a big universe's idea I had, but I got burnt out and ended the show. But I've finally gotten around to it, and that could end up being the same case for other matchups. Next, will I use characters from web series like SML, SMG4, etc, etc? And the answer is yes! In fact, the series premiere that I'm revealing later in this video is a web series versus web series fight. Hint, hint. The thing is, though, I'm only using actual characters from actual web series. No random meme junk, so no Chef PP, no Sonic.exe, nothing like that. Think of stuff like the web series that appeared in universes, Tome. In fact, while I'm at it, Tome will be making a comeback here. Alpha is going to be returning after his battle with KO in universes, Nylock is getting his own fight, and this season, we're gonna see something with Game Crazed. Look at that! You guys just got a bonus reveal I didn't plan on sharing today. That's just what happens when you ask the right questions. Bacon Wolf Yi asks, What goes into deciding a matchup for an episode, and do I intentionally avoid doing popular matchups? And nah, I don't intentionally avoid the popular matchups. One of the first thumbnails I made for this series was Omni Man vs. Bardock. I just go with whatever matchup I personally think works best. Sometimes it lines up, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's pretty close. An example would be back in universes with Crash vs Diddy Kong. Aside from Spyro, the popular Crash matchup is Donkey Kong. 
This is mainly because, aside from Sonic, the other big inspiration for Crash Bandicoot was Donkey Kong Country, and both games have a deep jungle aesthetic. Donkey Kong may be the protagonist like Crash, but ultimately I went with Diddy because I felt he worked better, with his food shooting gun, his jetpack, and his racing spinoff which directly inspired Crash Team Racing. There's also just the fact that I'm in a different bubble. Most of the people who have these kinds of shows I've noticed are mainly into Nintendo, anime, Marvel movies, all that stuff. While I grew up on PlayStation, more Western cartoons, and just a bunch of obscure random things like Tome or Ape Escape. So my matchups are naturally gonna be different anyways. The next reveal is that Season 2 will see the return of everyone's favorite, da -da 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 Disney Duels! I have no idea why, but these things would always get crazy views in universes. It's just a Disney vs Disney matchup. What's the big deal? But, since you guys like them, they're back, and the first one is gonna be Jake Long from American Dragon Jake Long vs. Maylin Lee from Turning Red. This thumbnail is not final, don't worry, I know it's bad. Now, let's get into some Saitama vs. Invincible debates before revealing the Season 2 premiere. Despite being the most recent episode, Saitama vs. Invincible was able to become the most viewed in just a couple days. But it's also the most disliked. Now the like to dislike ratio isn't bad, it's still close to 80% likes. But it's still 140 likes versus a whopping 30 dislikes. So I still wanted to at least say something and stand my ground, you know? So let's check out some debates. Our first debate is about Invincible's 4 billion times faster than light speed. Now they aren't arguing against the speed feed itself, but if Mark should have it because he never uses it in combat or in the story. And this is a common versus fallacy. Yes, Invincible should have the 4 billion times faster than light speeds. Characters in fiction are caught all the time by stuff that they totally shouldn't, especially speed-centric characters. Sonic is supposed to be the fastest thing alive, but he's been tagged by so many stupid things. It's just part of storytelling and making sure things are compelling and interesting. Invincible would be a very boring series if Mark just speed blitzed everything that came his way. So no, you can't ignore Mark's 4 billion times FTL speed just because of plot-induced stupidity. The next argument is that Saitama should win because he's never taken damage in his series while Invincible has. And this is another versus fallacy. You can't compare the durability of characters from other series by how much damage they've taken. Goku has spilled way more blood than Saitama even though he can one-shot thousands of universes while Saitama is only planet at best. Physical damage is a good way to measure characters from the same universe, but it's not a good measurement tool for characters from completely different franchises. And then the final argument is using data from a versus site to compare the two. Not naming any sites, but versus sites are not the most reliable things. They're great for using as a base for your research, just getting started on researching a character. But you should never rely on them completely. Versus sites are written by random people on the internet with biases and preferences and mistakes of their own. I remember trying to get a Tekken upgrade across on one of these sites for years, and it would always get ignored or denied without a second thought until Death Battle mentioned the upgrade, and then all of a sudden it was instantly fine. So yeah, it's definitely best to do your own research and come to your own conclusion with these things. But enough debates, let's get to what you're all here for. Let's see if the live chat can predict this matchup as I'm building it up. Go for it, guys. So, like I said before, it's a web series versus web series fight. Both characters wear red caps. Now, red caps are often used to symbolize a protagonist, like Super Mario, or Ness, or maybe Number 5 from Kids Next Door. It represents strength, bravery, and leadership. But what happens when these red hats are given to the sidekicks? Well, whenever that happens, you usually end up with characters who are beer drinking, gun slinging, woman loving, pain in the necks for their voice of reason best buds. So, live chat, have you figured it out? Two web series characters with red hats who love beer, guns, girls, and love bullying their loser smarty pants best friends. That's right, it's Red from Dick Figures versus Boomstick from Death Battle. Be sure to leave your predictions for this matchup in the comment section below, in my Discord server, voting in the Discord poll, or making a video prediction. Always love those. I don't have an exact release date for this episode, but I'll say you at least have until the middle of July. So, plenty of time to make a prediction. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Let's finish things off with the brand new Season 2 intro. Unless it gets copyright claimed, then the video's just over.